It's a wet and miserable day outside, but there's excitement in here for day three of the UK Games Expo. Everyone's exhausted after the last couple of days, but the excitement is still there. People are being entertained by the Ghostbusters and the Daleks at the same time before they're let loose into the halls. So we are raring to go. We're hoping to play a few more games today, see some people on their stands with their new games to play. We're going to go back to the bring and buy. We've got more cash. picked up basically what I think, I have no expectations for them. I have uh, Tomb Raider, The Angel of Darkness, so it's based on an IP, the worst part of a good IP, and it's four pounds. I have Neon Lights, 2026. I'm probably only gonna take one of these back because shelf space is at a premium in our house, and I can't really justify having two five pound bargain games. Which one? We're gonna have to wait and see when I get to the till. It's Sunday morning, it's, it's the end of the expo. There's not gonna be a lot of bargains left, really, in the bring and buy, so all I did was left with a little, little five pound chance up. Have, you know, you can't expect great things, really, on a Sunday. What, what'd you get? Um, well, I feel like we've done our normal kind of thing. You get, like, the cheaper games, give it the sort of gambit, see what happens, how often they got pulled off the shelves, who knows, and um, maybe I'm a little bit better at finding okay, the bargains. Okay, okay, impress me with a bargain. What, what okay. do you find out? So I found, you know how much I like Viking games, so I found a Viking game uh, Kickstarter edition for £45. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I found Selenia for £12. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, okay. I'll give you that. That's a good, a good that's bargain. A good price. Yeah. And then I also found this game, which is not even in retail in the UK just yet, and it's on pre-order at a couple of our sort of cheaper board game websites for about seventy pounds, and I found this for thirty. Okay. Yeah. There's this. There's, there's some bargains left in there, and it's the Kickstarter edition. Yeah, so basically I'm so much better at the bargain hunting than this one. Yeah, I should. It's like I've won another board game. I should probably be better at this. <laughs> now in pool two, you're gonna find a lot of smaller independent games. That means lots of quirky ideas. And then the game we've had our eye on for quite some time is Isla, which is coming to Kickstarter at the end of the year. So here we are with Alita, and she's gonna take us through the, uh, the greater foundation of Isla and how to play this roll and right board game. make time to come to the Bez Show. This year has been every day at two o'clock. She really is the life and soul of this event. So make sure you come along and leave your dignity at the door and just have fun. So we're at the stand. 
stand for So You've Been Eaten, a game that went to Kickstarter recently and they have a nice collector's edition here. You can see I look like I am in like the jaws. just about to be eaten. I'm yeah, about to be eaten. Um, and it's a game, a very asymmetrical game for two players. One of you's gone into the belly of the monster hoping to get some gems and the other one of you is the monster hoping that you will die. Yeah, it's been on my radar for a while and it runs once a nearly back to Kickstarter but it's a very quirky weird game so it's nice to be able to come to these sort of events and see them in person and go oh maybe that, that is for me. Uh, it's, it looks great fun to play um, so yeah I'm pleased that I've got a chance to see it and that's helped me cement my, my desire for it. So that's it, it's the end of day three and the UK Games Expo is now done. People are behind me are ending their games, they're starting to put things away so we can all head home after some very, very busy days. Everyone's got very sore feet and probably very empty wallets. <laughs> yeah, we've had a fantastic time, we've bought a lot of games, we've seen some fantastic games to look out for in the future and met some really fascinating people, both people we hadn't met before, people we hadn't met in person and complete strangers who just, you know, gelled over the joy of board gaming. But if you've seen our videos and you've commented, thank you so much. It's meant a lot to us, you know, seeing the, the comments at the end of each day and, and knowing that people are enjoying what we're doing. Yeah, if you do want to hear more about the Games Expo, then we will do one final video about that. Once we've got home, unpacked all of our hall, we'll tell you all about what we've got here and what our best experiences were of the show. So if you'd like to hear about that, do click the notification bell so you can get notified when we get that up. Uh, if you found us from doing these UK Games Expo videos, we are Box Peoples. We try to upload a board game video every single week, so subscribe if you haven't already to see that sort of content. And uh, if you're here for more on the show footage, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait a year, but don't worry, we'll be back here next year to do this all over again. Mm -hmm.